Hello YouTube, this is Soldier Bob McFaw back with part 11 of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as the Italian State. The last time we left off, the siege of the Battle of Kalos was just beginning. And this episode will start with that. All the artillery and everything is set up. So all that's left to do is begin. Um, they have their artillery set up behind a line of infantry, armed citizenry, not very tough. Uh, one of them is already being hit with artillery fire. Okay. We appear to be hitting the building some. They will march right into my infantry if all goes according to plan. I will also be taking my cavalry over to attack them from the side. Uh, so sneak around here and hit their general and artillery from behind. Very small unit. Uh, as far as I can tell, they haven't taken any casualties. It appears. Um, they haven't taken any casualties yet. They actually have a general, which I cannot quite. Sit. I I do not have a general. I just have. A our unit that is acting as general for this battle, and I'm just going to use it as normal cavalry. I'm not going to hold it back because it's the general. Um, because that's just not a very good idea. Well, sure, it's nice to have backup cavalry, but the jet, but this, as a general, it's pretty useless. It cannot actually do. Uh oh, they're coming around to attack. Go, oh, run, 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 run. Get past them quickly, quickly, quickly. They have not yet opened fire. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Ah. Uh, well, yes, the general is under attack. It does not matter. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright, let's see if we can hit them. Got some armed citizenry, it looks like. Set up to try and shoot me. But they are not going to be in time. The Cesar will smash into their artillery. They are. Uh oh. They did. They killed four whole guys with a full volley. With four guys. The take out. No, 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 no. You're supposed to be hitting the artillery. Not these guys. These guys are pointless. To kill, that is. Alright. This should manage to get rid of their general. And artillery. If all goes according to plan. Alright, alright, nope, change target, change target, put the general stuff. If I can get rid of their artillery and their general, they will be forced to make a charge and their morale will be severely lowered. Stay with it. Yes, general killed. That will send their morale down the toilet. Alright, routed them both. Excellent. Where has their little army run off to? Alright. We have open fire. Excellent.
Come on, guys, you can do it. Actually, why don't you hit that one? These guys will route very quickly when faced with a full cavalry charge, especially since their general died. My army is far superior. They have no artillery. So I can continue to pound them from behind. Uh oh. No artillery appears to be returning. Oh, gaining experience. Yay. Alright, now turn and check it out. I think they are all armed citizenry. Armed citizenry. Armed citizenry. Armed citizenry. Yeah, I think it's like... I think it's 100% armed citizenry, and then there was a general and two artillery units. <laughs> Alright, go hit them. Cavalry is so ridiculously effective against armed citizenry because they can't form into a square. So they just have to stand there and take it. Oops. Ah, good. Now the guys are ready for another charge. Our men are running to Oh man, I can't say I was up. Oh, they both routed. I cannot say the cavalry is expected to last very long. It's not the best cavalry, and I charged into good four or five enemy units. So. These guys will route pretty soon. They're getting a beating. Their unit is less than half. Heh. <laughs> oh, he changed the name. That's funny. If, if you see my last episode, I nicknamed him Ben Kenobi, and he changed the name to Ben Obi. Heh. <laughs> That's fine. Have to hit them before they can fire. They're gonna fire into their own guys here. Oh, our general died. Oh well, he wasn't really a general, he was just a random guy in his cavalry. Not random, he was probably the leader of the cavalry unit, but still not general. Still not like a general general. Yes, slam into their fleeing remains of their unit. They are fleeing from my cav, and in doing so, they are charging straight into my other units. These battles are so easy against armed citizenry. I just have a line of infantry that they tend to charge right into, and then. I send my cab around to hit them from behind or the sides or just charge straight into them. It doesn't really matter because they're armed citizenry. Once they get into a melee fight with cavalry, they're dead. Yes, yes. Charge. There's less than half of a unit of armed citizenry left. And then I will have won the bet. Oh man, they have more units now. Dang it. Their units are returning from routing. Alright, you. Line infantry. Do your job. Wow. My cavalry is pursuing them. And they've got a incoming enemy units from behind. Go hit them. Uh, my sister's 
phone is going off. Give me a sec. Alright, I stopped that. I think. It was most likely stopped. Uh, Alright, they are down to one unit. They appear to be trying to form into a line to hit us. But they have no time! Now for the power! The boss! Oh, they keep on returning from routing. It's annoying. It's because my cavalry isn't actually killing that many of them. They're just sort of killing a few and then the rest of, and then letting the rest route. Oh, don't route. Don't be there, route. Alright. Cavalry. Ah, oh, there Alright, I won this. Another awesome battle. <laughs> I almost completely destroyed the house. I don't know why. Heroic victory. The heart of France lies between Brussels and Paris. Okay. I wonder what is between Brussels and Paris. I'll find it and conquer it. Because that's my that's my goal now. Conquer all of France and then focus on everything. Oh, and take some Spanish cities maybe. I annihilated them. Ooh, they're gonna they're not gonna be happy. Let's see, are their buildings damaged? No. Alright, I have to exempt them from tax. Darn it. What kind of recruitment? Oh man, that's horrible. This little army taken Tolo. Defeated the general and artillery and the masses of armed citizenry. And my next target. Oh, let's see. Where's Brussels and where's Paris? Well, Paris won't be that hard to find. It's right there. Where is Brussels? Brussels, Brussels. Brussels, Brussels, Brussels. Where is Brussels? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Between there. That would be Reims. In. Uh, Picardic Champagne. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. Alright, the plan here is now replace this with a decent building soon when I can. Get with a barracks so I can recruit something. Get some more troops. March in and take that. And then I can either march down here. Or up to here. Or both. I could just send some troops over from here, I bet. I could go in for a sneak attack, but that would not be a good idea because that area is very highly defended. I would need a full stacked army or more. Oh, I can upgrade this. Good. I want a dockyard with some powerful ships. I have no idea how defended that is. So I'll send this mm, this single boat as a scout. It's not defended at all. Alright, now I'm going to take most of this army. Ooh, the cavalry is pretty beat up. Oh well. Leave it behind this one. I put the rest on there. It's unlikely that they'll try to attack uh, 
Corsica. But it is always a possibility. So I'll have to watch it. Oh, there's also a Spanish city right here. Maybe I can take this army in after taking Palma. I can take it up to Barcelona. Oh, yes. I could take the entire northern part of Spain and the southern part of France. And, of course, my own home territories. And focus either on the mainland of Spain or France. Which would be wonderful. If I can capture it, it will be wonderful, that is. That's a big navy and a big army. It's the British power. It's like your most powerful thing. Ah. They are going to make an alliance with me. An alliance with Russia. I think that would be... Ah, my power has gone up to moderate, and my wealth is remaining at affluent. Ah, I have been conquering things, and now they notice me enough to want an alliance. Mm. As long as they don't try to make me get into wars with random nations. That, that guy, I'm not even at war with his... Um, Country. It's weird that he keeps trying to attack me. Got in the four territories on the mainland. And the one in the water. Soon to be two in the water. Uh okay. Drop the guys off. Oh. Army? Attack. Oh, they have to get off over there for some reason. They have, apparently, grabbed an army. But it will not be enough. They have a harbor here, and that's it. That seems to be all the I'm getting from these islands. A couple of harbors. The harbors will be nice. I can use them to get some boats. Oh. Perhaps defeat this. Perhaps show a naval battle. Ah, it is completed. Hmm. Look at these wonderful, wonderful boats. 86 gun ship of the line. That appears to be the best I can build. Like, of all of them. The best I can build right now is a 50 gun. Eventually I will get some of those big fancy boats. It's going to take a while, and a lot of money. Boats are expensive. And I do not make enough money per turn to simply get more boats every single turn. It takes around two turns to get up enough money to buy a single 86 gun. Which is too long. I wonder if there's anyone else I can make a trade agreement with. I don't think so. Oh well. Sky. He hasn't actually succeeded yet, so. Meh. Let's see. No one here. And no one here. There's a lot less minor nations because they keep getting conquered by the major nations. Chuck! I... It's so, so... tiny. I have succeeded. Peacefully occupy. They all have tax offices. I want a tax office. I want a cantonment. Here too. I want facts. 
Here, I would love to get this boat, but I do not have enough money. 86 gun ship of the line. So wonderful. I'm making slightly more preparing. All the conquering is probably helping that. So I'm getting income from all of these little places. Let's see. Would they still be happy enough if I accepted them from tax? Nope. Darn it. If only I had some more units in here. That would solve the problem. Suppose I can send over a couple. And I will check out the defenses on Barcelona. It's also undefended. Spanish aren't very. <gasps> Ooh, another intellectual center. Ah, that's a spy place. I thought it was another college, so I could get more research. Vineyards. Boring stuff. Uh. Vineyards. They have a lot of vineyards. Where's their other intellectual center? Industrial. This is their cool flag. That's a really awesome flag. The Spanish rebels. They're a separate nation and it's impossible to do diplomacy with them. Because they do not come up as a minor nation. Because they are not. They are a rebel nation. They were not in the game at the beginning. They appeared later on after the, they recaptured their city from the British. These little tiny islands I've been capturing aren't helping at all. Send it down here, get some more trade. Bing. So how much more money? Do, oh, that actually gives a lot more money. Wow. I'm gonna spread my boats out a bit. Merchantmen. Yeah. Just because I think spreading them out might give a bit more. I'm not sure about that. It's a theory that I would plus. And the Spanish Navy could come after me again. I'm not too worried. I am in mostly friendly waters now. Yeah, I don't think there's any enemy nations all around here. There's Spain, and but then everything over here is either mine or at peace with me. At peace. At peace. At peace. At peace. There's not much danger. What is this? Is this an Ottoman city? Wow, they captured a city. If I think, yeah, they captured a city. Wow. Huh. But the Prussians took one of theirs. I could land some boats over there. That would take too long to get there, though. Mm. Whatever. Next turn. The French moving around in their very many boats. Not really much to say about this. British are raiding as normal, French are raiding, everyone's raiding somebody else. Raiding everywhere. Prussians moving around. Russians moving around. Interesting that they have such similar names, Prussia and Russia. 
Russia. It's Russia with a P. Oh, the Spanish and Russian navies will fight. Go Russians! Yeah! Russians are awesome. Alright, this should solve any problems with the people. There we go. They are now at a fine happiness. And my income has increased further. Wonderful. Wonderful. And I'll just pull one of these boats up back up here. Take them into Barcelona. As soon as it is ready. Not want militia. I want this to be completed soon so I can get some more units. This is actually a pretty decent sized army, but it does not have a general. See, so no, there's no cheap generals. There are never any cheap generals in Napoleon. I, I'm in, um, bleh. In the Darth Mod, all the generals are much more expensive. Here. Another vineyard. What is this? A gold mine. And the commercial center. The market. I cannot afford a merchant house. Oh, there's a fly. Annoying. I think I'm gonna build that to improve my income. Oh, the French defeated them. That was pretty obvious. It was pretty obvious that that was gonna happen. What's well, a big French navy? I'll have to hope it doesn't come after me, seeing as I have almost no navy. Oh, I haven't shown a naval battle yet. I'm not very good at naval battles. I might show an online naval battle. There's some Austrians moving around in my territory, hanging out. It's cool, they're my friends. Allies. They are my allies. Uh, Denmark, Norway, Spain. Nope, they're not moving. Boom, Merchant House. They can build so many things now. I'm gonna get barracks here. I'm gonna make it a staging point. But now I don't really need barracks here. I have a plenty of large army already. Let's see. Mm. I cannot afford the 86 gun, but I could get an 80 gun. Nah, I'll wait for the 86. Spain is actually really small. Wow. Gibraltar is a tiny little thing. Whatever. I'm just gonna grab a couple of units and send them up there to take it. To board out. Four. I don't even need more than four. So. Oh man. Retreat actually. Their armed citizenry is enough to defeat me? I doubt it, but it's not a very good army at all, so. I'll leave it alone. I could have continued the siege, I guess. Nah, maybe that would have been a better idea. I never really do that. Did they just go inside my- no, they can't go inside my cities. They're not my troops, they cannot go inside my cities. Oh, the workers are probably going to be on strike in 
Intel Labs sucks. I got public schooling, how wonderful. I need to build the drill school. Army Corps organization. Logistics. Hot and gallant desert for boats. I'll get fire in advance, why not? That is a commercial center of the rest. In Marcia, avanti. Um, what a bad gun. Yes, the cantonment is done. I can recruit units. First, I don't need another harbor. No. This will be my harbor. Eighty-six gun and a sixty-four gun. And then I will get some troops here. About ten more minutes of recording, and then I'll stop. Venice is empty. If I backstab them, I could take it, but I'm not going to. Because they have little armies all over the place. They would just raid everything I have. Destroy my economy. And then I'd be making negative money per turn. I'd be losing money per turn. That's what you call making negative. Oh man, my income is awesome. I like it. What kind of There's no cavalry here. Alright, I'll get some cavalry then. One little one. And then that should be. Yeah, one cavalry unit. I'll get three cav units. And then I should have enough. I left troops to leave behind. Oh, my gentleman has gained a trait. Ancillary, he's gained an ancillary. Uh, at this point, don't. One more turn for the barracks, and then I will get some better troops. I will get some troops in here, and I'll get a general. This one to command and morale. This one to command and morale. I don't need a great general. Let's get him. Just need someone who will be able to lead troops and rally them and inspire them and stuff. Martial. There's only one more unit that is not healed up to full, and then this army will be healed up to full. And Benedito Colombo, the general. He's only actually been in one battle, and that was holding off three separate giant Spanish armies. That was an awesome battle, though. It's really awesome. Uh. Anyway. Not really much happening this episode. Less battling and more planning for next episode. It's battling. I want to have more really big battles between two, like, full stack or close to full stack armies. But that never happens. Because all the cities I'm taking are empty. My enemies are horrible at this. They just leave their cities empty. Like, like, I would understand if he'd left, say, 
like if the British left say no, that that's not a good example. Let me find a good example. Uh, if the French left say um, I can't find any good examples at all. Okay. I use Um, okay, the Russians. There, they have no enemies up here at all. Like this city, they could leave that empty, but they wouldn't leave something like down here empty because it's right next to the Ottomans who are at war with. Them. But then the AI in this game does leave that empty. Alma. All right, they have one more turn, and then the army moves on Barcelona. I think that will be the end of this episode: the capturing of Barcelona. Good income now. Good steady income. And this is done, so I will get some units. Yay, some units. Oh, they have no, no skirmishers. Light infantry, no lights. At all. Then that will be enough. For the capture of Bordeaux, or Bordeaux, or Bordeaux. <laughs> That's probably wrong. <gasps> There's a French army up there, I want to kill it. In a massive, awesome battle. Decide the fate of the U.S. Or at least the city of Marseille. For now. I'll pr even if they take it, I will retake it from them pretty easily. <sighs> New technological research. I just remember what I need to do. All right, in the capital, need to build the, this drill school so I can research more technology. And down here, in the Balearic Isles, I need to take this boat. You take this army, most of it anyway. Uh. And leave behind one, two, and take the rest into the boat. Into the boat. Little bitty boat. Alright, then I'll move the boat out of there. Reselect these units. Reselect. No problem. Let me go. There we go. Now it's good. Now, move him up there. Hey, yes, I do. Hey, sir. And simultaneously, this attack will occur. Well, not simultaneously. Within a few turns of each other. Okay, two separate cities. Oh. France has lost another city. And I can take my agent out of here now. Send him over there. I will take two separate armies, one going... I, oh man, this this is too easy. There's no actual massive battles. Aha! My 64-gun ship of the line has arrived. I can't actually do any trading. So I... Send it down to join up with this boat. 
We have an actual navy of sorts. I'll send this one there. And the one that's there. You. My beautiful 64 gun ship of the line. The glove. Right, you have to find it. What the heck? What is the heck? Okay, you could go up there. And now, um, tuck. Who? They are disembarked, correct? No. Not quite yet. Make my army to attack. Um, they're just going back and forth. It's not doing anything. It's weird. There we go. Now it's working. Ah. And all right, I'm gonna end this here. So I hope you enjoyed me doing a whole bunch of nothing this episode. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.